Hello, my rock world. This is Marty and Marto. Uh, we and are, Vinny. And Vinny. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so happy to be here with you, Vinny, in Telfs, in this beautiful location. Yes, what um, a beautiful town. Have you ever been here before? No. And so we got off the bus and looked at the mountains and took a walk. It's beautiful. Yeah. Everybody's happy, smiling, mm -hmm. really nice people. Beautiful. So, um, you, you had a chance to go to the mountains today, or? <laughs> no. No. Okay. We went to the mall. Uh, to, only to the mall, uh -huh. okay. <laughs> okay. So, Vinny, let's start the interview. Um, first question, not everyone is familiar with the band name uh, Last in Line. So, uh, please tell us something about Last in Line, how did this band came together, and also about the great album called Heavy Crown. Okay. The band came together uh, one day, Viv called me up and said, hey, you want to jam? Me, you and Jimmy, Bane. And uh, in California, I said, yeah, that'd be fun. So we got together and jammed, just the three of us. And we were laughing, having fun. It was remembering the solos, or remembering the songs. So it went so well that we decided to do it another week, next week. So uh, I got a hold of Andy. He was in town. He's a friend of mine. I said, why don't you come down and sing a couple of Dio songs with us, just for fun. <laughs> so Andy came down. We played, and he just blew it away. We went, wow, you know, what a singer. So uh, it was so good that just, why don't we do some gigs, you know. So we booked some gigs a couple, about a month or two later, did a few gigs, and uh, the reaction from the fans and people in the audience, fantastic. So then we decided, hey, let's do some more gigs. And it built, and then we got uh, Frontiers Records yeah. offered us a record deal. So we said, let's do that, you know, make a record, you know. So we got together writing. And we wrote the way we did in Dio, all in a room, yeah. jamming, crazy ideas, <laughs> try anything, and it worked. And uh, so that's how we got to the point of the album. And then um, we did a few more gigs here and there. And then we did the last gig was with Jimmy, was the, the boat, yeah. the uh, Def Leppard cruise, and he passed away. Yeah. So that was sad. And then we took some time off, we grouped, and then we decided, uh, let's try try different bass players and Phil came down he blew it away and then Eric came down and now I got a great band again so well, was there any discussion in the band to, to put the band down because of, of, of Jimmy's pa passing or yeah after when he passed it was really yeah. you know it's, oh this is what are we gonna do yeah, yeah. Well, that kind of thing you know Jimmy was a great part of the band yeah. a great part of the writing sound so <clears throat> just take some time off heal yeah and then uh Move on, you know. Sure. Mm. Okay. He would want us to do that anyway. Okay. So. Uh, Heavy Crown is a really great album, in my opinion, one of the Me best. Me too. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's a really great album, and uh, with lots of great songs that easily could fit on any duo album as well. My own favorite is uh, Star Maker. <laughs> Which one? Star Maker. Oh yeah. And uh, what is your favorite song on the album? Star Maker. <laughs> really? <laughs> Why? <laughs> Because of the same reason. It's a great reason. song. It's got a great mood to it and it's great dynamics, lyrics, everything in it. It's just yeah. a good, great song. It takes you on a journey. It gets fast yeah. and it <laughs> goes back down and takes you on a little trip, you know? Is it also your favorite song playing live or? What's that? Your yeah. favorite song playing live? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah? yeah. Great. It's a good live song. Talking about Ronnie James Dio, mm -hmm. um, if he would still be with us, what do you think he would say? Uh, having a listen to Heavy Crown? I think he'd like it. He, I think he, yeah, he might go, fuck those guys. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You know, I don't know. I don't know. I know. He would probably like it inside, musically, mm. but wouldn't like the idea of us playing together. Ah, okay. That's what I think. Okay. That's interesting. Um, what can we expect from the show tonight? And also from the set list tonight? Well, we only have 45 minutes, so there's going okay. to be, uh, mm -hmm. I don't know how many songs that is, eight or nine songs. So we're doing two new, couple new songs. From the next two? album? Three songs from the new okay. album. Okay. Okay. And then the rest are all the Dio classics. Mm. So it's a very great, very good set. Okay. So boom, 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 boom. So you have some new songs already written for next album? We wrote one at Soundtrack before. Oh, oh, really? Can you hear it? <laughs> we've, we've heard something, but we were, were unsure, so... We're messing around, yeah, we like that. Yeah? yeah? So how many songs already written for the no, next album? No, we don't album? have anything. No, no, just the ideas, or...? We got together one, one day and rehearsed and put, recorded some jams and different oh, things. Okay. And I put them... I usually take the tapes and edit them and 
hey, listen to that riff. That's cool. That's cool. That's cool. You know, that's what I always did in this band and Dio and Sabbath. I took care of the tapes and the recordings and then edit them. Yeah. Bring them into the rehearsal and go, this is good. We should work on this. That's or great. If everybody likes it, we work on it. Yeah. But tonight we you know, jammed on something yeah. really mm -hmm. like. So do you record the jams also that, no. that you have in here? No, so the ideas you but have that's to... that's easy to remember. It was the end Where? of one of the songs. Oh, okay. <laughs> so it's the end of last in line. Oh, okay. <laughs> so. Great. Um, looking back, uh, you've had extensive musical career. Um, can you single out a particular high and low point? Um, there's a lot of high points, you know. Playing with Sabbath and then... The first gold record, platinum record, arenas, you go, wow, bad stadiums, and, uh, giant places, and, and then, you know, it goes, it's, it ends somewhere. So you've you've so signed then, the Stars uh, album before. You remember, you remember the Stars? The Stars yeah, album? Yeah, yeah. yeah. So it goes, it, it, all the careers kind of um, go up and down, unless you're in one yeah. band for a long time, then you can maintain yeah. um, that level. You know, but I've been in different bands. Yeah. So it's up, you know, playing arenas. Next year, you're playing as club. Yeah. Small place. Yeah. But it's all playing, so I love it. Uh, it's all good. Mm -hmm. um, this was a high point playing with Viv yeah. and, and this band. Yeah. And it's it's great to have Viv Vivian on, bo on board because his schedule with, with Def Leppard is. Yeah. <laughs> I know. I, I think it's not I, easy to, to have him in, uh, in the band. Yeah, it's like juggling. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay, um, some general question. Uh, who are your heroes starting out playing music? Drummers or? Drummers, everyone, everything, everyone. Uh, well, Led Zeppelin, you know, Bono, mm -hmm. my brother, Carline, was a big influence mm -hmm. to me. His, his band back then was the Vanilla Fudge, uh, Jimi Hendrix, mm. uh, Billy Cobham, Buddy Rich, Jazz. Billy Cobham, Jazz, okay. You know, and then the, I listened to a band called Blue Cheer when I grew up. Loud band, three piece mm -hmm. power. And uh, who else? Um, Deep Purple, a little bit. Deep Purple, a little bit. The Who. Yeah, all the classics. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So. Awesome. Did Dio. you Did you ever oh, saw uh, The Who live? Uh, no, I actually no. never seen them. Okay. Mm -hmm. Just listen to Keith Moon's crazy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, please. You have to try it out. Yeah, it's crazy. The end of the Who show, the drummer. Yeah. The drums, put, you put the drums put on the, off the stage. Set on fire. <laughs> Don't do it here. <laughs> um, is there still anything you haven't done yet musically and you think one day I would really like to do this? Um, Playing with a huge orchestra, maybe? Or <laughs> yeah, the only thing is like, hey, it'd be cool an all star thing. Jimmy Page and you know, the, the Van Halen and, you know, just, just have some fun. But uh, what I did recently, which was on the bucket list, was we did a concert. Mm -hmm. Andy and I and uh, Rudy Sazo was on bass and uh, Craig Goldie was on guitar. And we did a orchestra gig with a 50-piece mm -hmm. orchestra. Aww. Okay. And this was in Temecula, California, where I live around there. And my girl put it together, Joey. She, we went to see the orchestra one night. Like, yeah, it'd be great to play with these guys. <laughs> so she arranged the whole thing. We got. Uh, got the songs together and we rehearsed with the orchestra. It's weird because you got to play exact. Mm -hmm. It's not like right, us. Yeah. We go, keep going. <laughs> so keep the, going one more time. Here you got to, they're with reading. The, with the click or also? No, or no, no. They're reading. So oh <laughs> you got to make sure you don't uh -huh. go too long exactly. on parts. So we rehearsed twice. It was a trip. But then we <laughs> did the concert. It was 1,500 people mm. out, was outside. A beautiful night. Mm -hmm. Played with the orchestra. Cashmere. Through, through the monitors. Is it on YouTube or have you seen it? Is it? It's on the internet. It's on the internet. Oh, okay. okay, we have to check it out. It's called The Legends of Rock and uh, the Orchestra. Okay. Oh, okay. Awesome. It was really cool. So that was something that I never did. None of us mm -hmm. did. It was fucking awesome. Mm -hmm. It's great. We want to try to do another one. So <laughs> okay. It's beautiful. Um, please tell us some secrets about yourself or maybe the band that nobody knows. Maybe a, a funny tour bus secret or something else. I love something eating else. cereal. Oh, really? I'm like addicted to cereal. <laughs> like at night, I'm home, I go, even after dinner, I go, instead of dessert or something, yeah. I'll wait and I go, cereal. You put something in milk with, with no, milk just or milk, just, just milk? All just different milk cereals. And sugar Not the sweet stuff. Just okay. like, you know. Uh, Oats and wheat brand cereals and 
love cereal. That's great. Marty Friedman told us the same story. It keeps you strong. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. Uh, now I'm into computers. I yeah, went and got okay. all the certifications from Microsoft and Cisco routers. Mm -hmm. I build them. I used to. I started building them, and people come calling me going, "Can you build me one?" Build, yeah. And all of a sudden, I had like 25 people that wanted me to take care of the computers, networks, all that shit. But I like it. So they're friends, you know. My yeah. friend had a store that does flooring, and I did uh, all his computers and stuff you know, when I had time. Yeah. So it was cool. That's great. So I like that, and then. Uh, um, that's a good hobby. Yeah. <laughs> I got a studio in my house, so now I record for different projects. What pro projects are you working now on? Uh, oh my, I don't know what the last one was. He was a friend, a guitar player. Um, uh, his name is Adrian. I don't know his last name. But I do a lot of different yeah. ones. Sometimes oh, yeah. it's just one song. If I like it, it's a heavy. Uh, yeah, that's cool. Yeah. And I record myself. I'm the engineer. Wireless keyboard, punch in. And, I love it. It's great. Okay. Got a good drum sound. The last question? No, it's not a question. The last one, mine. It's not a. It's not a question. It's. Um, please uh, tell uh, some words to the fans, please. What's that? Some words to the fans, please. A message? Some message here. Yeah. Um, my message would be, uh, you know, thank you for all the years of listening to all the stuff I've done and all the bands I've been in, and I've been fortunate to play in great bands, you know, legendary bands and. Uh, Maybe still able to do this, you know. It's how old is Holy Diver? 30 something years mm -hmm. old. <laughs> We're still playing the songs, and people go, ah! Yeah, so, I mean, a big thank you to all the fans, and, and uh, especially in Europe. Um, you know, the European fans are just so passionate and great fans, you know. So it's great to be here. We really appreciate it. Will you come back maybe next year to never do more, again? More? Never, <laughs> never. <laughs> Will you come back next year to do more shows in Germany, maybe also? Hopefully, hopefully we, 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 we might be doing minutes. some shows in the summer, maybe yeah. some festivals and stuff, you know. Mm -hmm. That's great news. Hopefully this will lay some groundwork in Europe, okay. doing this tour, and then uh, come back and do some festivals in the summer, mm -hmm. you know. That'd be great. Okay. This is a beautiful town. It's beautiful. Yeah. Amazing. It's like, it looked like, uh, like Disneyland. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at that. oh my God. It's and beautiful. Okay. So, nice to be here. Thank you very much, Winnie. Okay. Thank, Thank you. you for the interview. Thank you. And good. have a good show tonight. All right. Okay. Thank you. Thank you very much. Okay. Nice mm -hmm. to meet you.